He's a little boy with Down syndrome who wants to be accepted. Daniel's now in grade nine. His academic level is around uh, um, kindergarten grade to grade three, and it varies in there. Um, so he can't read uh, or write. He just completely believes that he is being accepted and they are being friendly. He believes that and that breaks my heart because he is just left in this situation every day on this ferry. And these things happen to him. They encouraged him to come and sit with them. There was a booth and it was full of students. And when he did come and sit with them, they all jumped up and ran away and left him there on his own. They decided to play hide and seek with him, except they told him to go and hide and didn't go and seek him. They took his bag and they wouldn't give it back to him. And he became quite distressed about that. Um, he knew that that action was not friendly. He understood that. Um, and they just kept throwing it around. And uh, he was found um, crying on his own, crying on the ferry. He's just been left now completely on his own because any independence that he, he was gaining, um, in our minds, it's being undone now. Because he does, he's not ready. I would hate to think what would happen if there was a real safety issue on that ferry because the school keep telling us that the older students look out for him. I feel very sad for Daniel. Um, obviously, all I want to do is to make things good for him. Um, I think that that is terrible behaviour. And I, I'm not sure how he is expected to, to learn um, social behaviour if he's allowed to be in these situations unattended. Good afternoon. I just wanted to add a statement to this unfortunate incident. This is sickening how somebody could bully somebody with Down syndrome just because they are slightly different to everybody else. It's not your fault that you are different and I hope you can make a good recovery. It is important we get the awareness out there to help people who are going through similar situations. To the parent of this Down syndrome child, I'm sorry that this has happened. I hope you can all make a good recovery. How does bullying affect mental health? Bullying can affect physical and emotional health both in the short term and later in life. It can lead to physical injury, social problems, emotional problems, and even death. Those who are bullied are at increased risk for mental health problems, headaches, and problems adjusting to school. What are the long-term effects of bullying? Kids don't easily outgrow the pain of bullying. According to a new study that finds that people bullied as kids are less mentally healthy as adults. The study is one of the first to establish long-term effects on childhood bullying, which is still often considered a typical part of growing up, unfortunately. Children with physical, physical conditions or disabilities, such as cerebral palsy and Down syndrome, can be more likely to be excluded from social activities and called names. Mental health and bullying. Bullying can affect a child or teen's mental health and well-being. What is the best way to help a child with Down syndrome? How does Down syndrome affect families? Effects on families, siblings and family members of children with Down syndrome can often feel left out with all the challenges in caring for someone with special needs. This affects the entire family unit. However, there are many chances for siblings to grow in a positive way when helping care for their special needs. Sibling bullying is foolish and childish and selfish and entitled. And our nation will not tolerate bullying or discrimination towards disability. Government must intervene. It's getting far too serious now.